anytime I bring you guys an analysis, okay, I don't know who's going to win the fight. I don't have a crystal ball. What I'm really good at is I'm really good at the history of the sport. I'm a huge fan. My career will end the same way my career started, which is in a seat and watching and enjoying what I was watching. I just know the stuff off the top of my head. So when you look at that fight and you look historically at how they have both performed and you start to form a projection on how is this contest going to go, John Jones being a thousand to one favorite, wait, wait, it's 10 to one, whatever he is a favorite, it's right. I understand it. I understand it a little bit further. I, I would say it to this point. Anthony Smith is going to get his ass kicked, okay? I, I just said to you a minute ago, I never know what's going to happen in a fight. Let me tell you one thing that is going to, Anthony Smith is going to get his ass kicked, but stop right there. Hold that thought. Anytime you're going to put John Jones, the true Michael Jordan of our sport, a guy who has separated himself from a competition, a guy that has separated himself so much that the reigning heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel Cormier, has looked at John Jones, his nemesis, and said, nobody in that division can compete with him. Well, he's right in so many ways. And John, I guarantee you, is going to win a lot of this fight. He is going to whip Anthony. Again, hold that thought. How do you sell a John Jones fight? How do you make people interested in a John Jones fight at this point when he's created a separation and a gap between himself and the competition? There's only one thing that you can do. You must bring him an opponent who, regardless of what you believe the outcome is going to be, you must bring him an opponent who the people and the masses can buy into, brings an element or a skill that he, John Jones has not yet faced before. That's what you have to do, and that's what they did. When I talk about the skill, okay, I told you to hold a couple of thoughts, now let's tie them together. The skill that Anthony ha uh, Smith has is toughness and grit. People wilt underneath John Jones. They wilt to the strength, to the length, to the pressure. He's mean, he's nasty, he's tricking you with submissions, right? Go see the Glover to Sheriff fight. He's pulling his arm off. The 30 seconds in, tears his bicep. But the, all of John's fights are like this. He's mean and he's nasty. He's the only guy in the company that can, only guy in the sport that can start a fist fight with a head kick. Everybody in the sport knows. You feel your way in with your hands. You finish with a kick. His legs are so long, he'll come out and kick you right in the mouth before you've even had time to touch gloves. Anthony Smith isn't going to wilt to that. When I tell you that Anthony's going to get his ass kicked, yeah, he is. Because I'm a historian on the sport and I've seen his previous fights. And all of them involved him getting his ass kicked. Have you guys ever seen him fight Hector Lombard? Quick story, but he, Anthony Smith was fighting Hector Lombard on television at the same time as Canelo and Triple G were fighting the same time on pay-per-view. So I'm in front of my TV. I bought the pay-per-view. I'm watching the free show. Anthony Smith is going into the third round, down two to Hector. I'm out. I stayed on the boxing match. I stayed on Canelo and Triple G, okay? Three days later, I'm in Portland, minding my own business, driving to the podcast studio to come and talk to you all, by the way. And I get a text message from Anthony Smith's manager. It says, would you like to have Anthony on the show? He's now got three knockouts in a row. Look, it's, I, said, I wrote him back. So what are you talking about? I, he just lost. This just, I watched it. He just lost. And the manager writes me back and goes, oh, chill, let me guess. You flipped over to boxing and didn't watch the third round, which is exactly what happened. But it brings me to my point. Yeah, Anthony Smith is going to get his ass kicked. I understand that. John Jones is going to win the majority of this fight. For sure, I understand that. But Anthony Smith only has to win roughly eight seconds. If you go back and look at the guys who he's not only beaten, but he stopped world champions, three of them now, and a former number one contender, all in his last four outings, he only had to win about eight to ten seconds of those fights. And I realized in some of them, he won more than that. But on what I'm telling you, when those stoppages came, when that storm came, when that race car, known as Anthony Smith, saw that opening, he saw that hole and he put his foot down on the pedal. Well, it took him about eight seconds. And that is the big difference in this fight. And that is the big difference as far as what does Anthony bring to this match that nobody else has? The answer is simple. And it's not glorious. And it's not wonderful. And it's not beautiful. And it's not articulate. It is simply that he will compete the entire time and he will not wilt.